Hi, I'm Liam and welcome to the next video in the series on how to code with the BBC Microbit. In the last episode, we used the inputs of buttons to animate a smiley face on the screen. And in this lesson, we're going to use the inputs of shaking to create a step counter. So, let's head over to the app and get coding. Okay, so let's go to our app and start a new project. So this new project, let's give it a name of step counter. So step, step counter. Now, what we're going to want to do here is when we first start, we're going to need a variable to count how many steps we've got. So down the side here, you'll notice a tab here for variables. So let's go in here and click this button to make a variable. So let's in here give it a name of steps. And you'll notice once we've created our variable, we get a few options up here. So we can set the steps, or we can change the steps, or we can use the steps. So when we first start, we're going to want to set them to zero. So let's drag set steps to zero into our on start. And let's get this forever and let's throw that in the bin because you don't want that. Now, to make it detect when we are walking, we're going to use the input of shake. So under input, second one down should be on shake. So let's drag that in here. So what shake does is it uses the accelerometer on the micro bit to recognize whether it's being moved forwards, backwards, up, down, left, right, and it can use the combination of that to detect when it's being shaken. And that in turn, we can consider as a step. So when we shake the micro bit, we're going to want to change the value of steps. So let's go back to our variables. I remember this one down the bottom, change steps and it's got by one. So let's put that in there. So what this will do is every time this block is run, it will change the um, variable steps by one. So that will increase it by one. So if you wanted to, every time we shake add two, we could change that to two, or if we wanted it to go down. So if we wanted every time you shake, so it was you start with say 10,000 steps a day and you had to keep walking until you ended up with zero, you could put minus one in there. So let's just leave it as one for now. And once we do this, you'll see on the screen, there's a little button now called shake. So we can click that and that shakes the micro bit for us. But we don't know how many steps we've done. So we need a way to see um, how many steps we've done. So what we can do is let's grab our input again. So remember from the last video where we used our buttons. So let's say on button A pressed, let's put that into there. And if we go under basic, there will be one down here called show string. So if we put that in there, show string of hello, when we press button A, it says hello, but that's no use, is it? So if we go back to our variables, remember we've got this steps variable here. So we can click and drag steps into our show string. So that will replace hello with the value of steps. So it's updated, it's started, if I press A, it shows zero. If I click to shake it once and now press A, it shows one. So we can now tell that our step counter is working. So let's click it a couple of times. Well, say a couple, quite a few times. Just click away a bit. And now if we press A, displays 39. So one thing 
that I have noticed, however, is that if I reset this, so let's click this restart button down the bottom, and shake it three times, if I press A, it just shows three. It doesn't disappear. Now, if I click it a few more times, so it goes more than 10, so more than it can display on the screen, and press A again, it shows 318. But that's not really right. If I press it again, it's just 18. So what we want to do is clear the screen after we've displayed our number. So if we go back to basic and go under uh, more, there's this one here called clear screen. So let's drag that under show screen. And now if I shake it once and press A, shows one and it disappears. It was a little bit quick though, wasn't it? So let's go back to basic and we've got this pause that we used in the last video. So let's put that in the middle and let's give it a two seconds delay. So hit shake, press A, it shows one for two seconds, then it disappears. I shake it a load more times and press A. And now it just shows the actual number. Okay, so I've downloaded the code onto the micro bit. Now let's have a look. So if I press A to start with, we see we've got zero steps. So let's give this a shake. Press A again, and we see we've got one step. Shake it again, and we see we've got two. So let's attach this to our shoe and see it working. So we want to get a trainer like this. Ideally, the more um, laces you've got going across, the easier it is to attach because there's more room in there. Um, I did originally try putting it onto this shoe, but it uh, doesn't doesn't work too well on that one. So going with the old trainer instead. So first thing you want to do is try and loosen up bit down the bottom so let's give it a bit of slack can take a bit of a while when you've got so many that's going through so it's a bit looser down the bottom here now so that gives us a bit of room so that when we put it on there's slack down here to actually hold the micro bit in place so first thing that we need to do is slot in the battery um, bank so let's put that in underneath there like so so you can see that slack is now holding in the battery there but it isn't affecting uh, the room uh, to put your foot inside the shoe so next thing we want is to somehow attach our micro bit now a couple ways you could do this you could if you've got very fine laces you could um, attach them actually through the micro bit on there um, but because I don't want to have to relace all this I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to use some elastic bands so oh, let's pick an elastic band that's probably going to work uh, that one looks okay so go underneath the shoe Now it's worth noting that if you're using elastic bands and you leave it on there for a while, they are going to be around the bottom so they are likely to break. So you might want to add a couple on there or we'll use some strong elastic bands like that one would probably, probably work quite well. Let's double that over. Bank's falling out a little bit. Let's, let's take that off a second. Get the battery bank back in there. Underneath there, like so. And then in goes the 
micro bit. Okay, so that's it now attached to our shoe. All we've got to do is put it on and go for a walk. Okay, so I've been on a short walk. Let's have a look and see how many steps we've counted with our micro bit. Okay, so back from the walk. Um, luckily, the elastic bands have held, so they haven't fallen apart. Um, it's only a short walk around the block. If you're going to put this on for a whole day, I would definitely suggest using the laces through these holes here. Um, so let's have a look and see how many steps I've done. So let's take this off from here and get this out. So three one four eight okay so three thousand one hundred and forty eight steps that's pretty good so if you're going to do this at home um obviously make sure that uh, you don't go out when it's raining because electricity and water never mix well um but on a sunny day like today it's fine to have this strap to your shoe and have a wander around so have a go at home and get step counting <laughs> 